Hello, it's time to light the final candle on my advent wreath. The very big candle in the middle, the special candle, the candle that represents Jesus, the Christ child, the light of the world. So I'm going to light the candles. Our first candle, the candle of hope. Our second candle, the candle of peace. Our third candle, the candle of joy. And the fourth candle, the candle of love. And our fifth candle, our central candle, remembering the birthday of Jesus. Let's just hear the final part of our journey to Bethlehem. Prophets are people who come so close to God and God comes so close to them that they know what is most important. They pointed the way to Bethlehem. They didn't know exactly what was going to happen there, but they knew that this was the place. Here is the hand of the prophet pointing the way to Bethlehem, showing us the way too. Stop, watch, pay attention. Something incredible is going to happen in Bethlehem. This is the road to Bethlehem. Mary and Joseph are on their way. Mary's about to have a baby. On the third Sunday of Advent, we remember the shepherds who were standing in the fields around Bethlehem keeping their sheep. They were trying to stay awake so the wolves could not come and get the sheep. Suddenly there was so much light in the sky that it hurt their eyes. They were afraid. Their hearts were beating so loudly. When they could hear something beside their own hearts, they thought they heard singing in the sky. That also scared them until they heard the words of the song. The angels were singing, don't be afraid. The angels singing sounded something like this. Don't be afraid. We bring you tidings of great joy, peace on earth and good will to everyone. A child is born. Go, hurry, run to Bethlehem to see the child who will change everything. This Sunday, the fourth Sunday in Advent, we look at the wise men. We remember the three kings, the Magi, the wise men. They came from far in the east and they were so wise. Of all the things they knew, they knew the most about the stars. They knew where each star was supposed to be at each time of the year. So they could tell people when it was time to plant their crops or take a trip on the ocean or cross the high mountain passes when the snow wasn't so deep. Suddenly, they saw a star. It was not on any of their star maps. It went where it wanted to go. It did not stay put. They decided to follow the star to see where it was going and what it wanted to show them. They followed the star all the way to Bethlehem. But they came from so far away that they got there after the baby was born. They're always late, it seems. Every year they're late. They don't usually arrive until January the 6th. But we remember them today because, like us, they too are on their way to Bethlehem. Here is the candle of the prophets, the candle of the Holy Family, the candle of the shepherds, and here is the candle of the wise men. Let's enjoy the light. Look, when you come to the mystery of Christmas, everything changes. It becomes the colour of pure celebration. This is when the baby is born, the one we have been waiting for. Emmanuel was his name, a name meaning God is with us. Here is the Christ child, 
Here is Emmanuel, the mystery of Christmas. This is amazing. Wait, something is missing. I wonder what it could be. This is the Christ candle. Now let's enjoy its light too. Watch. Stop, look and listen. Christ is among us. Well, we've come to the end of our journey to Bethlehem. We've travelled with the prophets, with Mary and Joseph, with the shepherds and with the wise men. And in our final part, we arrived at the stable to remember the baby Jesus being born. Let's pray together. Living God, all the candles are lit, all our preparations are done, and our hopes are met in Jesus Christ today. Amen. <laughs>